Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up GOGS or GOGS which is a painless self-hosted lead service on your CentOS machine. So let's jump right into it. I have my trusty CentOS virtual machine already started. It has two cores and two gigs of RAM. It's nothing peculiar, so to speak. So let me SSH to it. And I'm going to acquire sudo prompt. And first, as a preparation, what we need to install is to is the Git and GCC packages. So once they are installed, what we need to do is to install MySQL or PostgreSQL for this to work. So Gox needs these packages or needs a database to live in to manage users and whatnot. So this is done. You can basically add the repository. I have created a gist for this. Oh, I always forget. You need to install wget as well. And now what we have to do is to use the rpm-ivh mysql community release and yum install mysql server. Yes, I accept it. After mysql is installed, we need to enable and start the daemon. So system ctl enable mysql d. Let's wait for it to complete. And then system ctl start mysql d. Hold on. So enable. Alright, and there is a MySQL secure installation command that you need to do. No, I don't want to set up. I want to have. Yes, or oh, no, please don't. No. No. Yes. So I don't want. Uh, to disallow remote login for root. So this is not the most secure setup. This is just for demonstration. Now we need to install Go, the programming language. And I have downloaded this one. And what we will do after this is the following. So we remove every previous installation of Go and extract the package that we have just downloaded to the user local. And once this completes, we need to clone the Gox repository and navigate inside the folder once it is downloaded. And we would like to use the user local go bin go to build dash o g o g s this is going to take some time but um, after we since we have installed gcc it should succeed and once it has succeeded we should be able to test the web interface so in order to reach the web interface we will have to either disable the firewall or allow a port through the firewall and that's what we are going to do come on come on yeah 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 all right so, I hope you are full of goals and dreams for 2022 
and to be honest i'm just hoping that this whole covid stuff is going to end <laughs> this year but i i don't know what to say about this <laughs> so firewall d uh, so we firewall cmd dash dash permanent dash dash odd port equal 3000 http <laughs> sorry tcp a firewall cmd reload this way i have allowed through the port 3000 on my firewall and now what we can do is to issue the gogs web if everything is running properly i should be able to visit the cento 3000 and voila so i will have the root the root the database name is gogs the schema is public the domain is going to be cento this is going to be needed by my by the gogs to generate the urls and before we do that what we need to do is to run a script which is going to be preparing which is going to prepare <sighs> sorry which is going to prepare the database for gogs all right now let's start the web once again and go oh hold on my sequel and i'm going to have to allow this one through the firewall as well or no no yes i have to 3036 or 3306 reload hold on this one okay now the verification has succeeded what we have to do is to create a user so gogs admin create user name is root password is root admin email admin at localhost.local this is going to be the user that is able to log in to the web interface and there we go let's let's save it okay now i should be able to create a new repository this is for testing gogs all right and the url shows it properly now i'm going to go on my local windows machine let's create the gog test let's add the readme file hold on welcome Gog seems to be working properly. Let's save it. Get in it. Git add. Git commit dash m test. 
git remote add origin http send to 3000 root test git git push dash u origin master now my credential manager is asking for credentials this is for the user that i have created for gogs and it seems to be working let's refresh it voila all right so technically this is how you can install it on your machine you could use like systemd or something like that to run it as a service hold on let's see it installation from binary running running goes as a service running as a daemon via open rpc create a file So this is basically how you can run it as a service if you want. Now, technically that was all I wanted to show you. See you in the next one.